In today's episode, I'm taking a look at a six fragrance haul from KDJ Inspired, who are a coffee fragrance house based in Bolton in the north of England. It's my first time shopping with this particular brand and I've given all of these a couple of full wearings now. So to find out what my initial first impressions of these are, stay tuned to Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to this latest episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and today I'm taking a look at six fragrances from Clone House uh, KDJ Inspired. I've been asked a couple of times now by my subscribers down in the comments if I'd uh, tried any of these for myself and up until recently I'd not even heard of them so I'm uh, a little bit late to the party with these. Uh, but after um, having a good browse around the website which I have to say is the most easy to navigate user friendly website of any Clone House that I've ever used by far um, I did decide to pull the trigger on six popular well-known fragrances and I already own all the originals of these uh, these six so I can let you know exactly how, how accurate they are and also how well they perform compared to the originals. But before I begin, this is a review and it's not an advertisement and I'm in no way sponsored or being paid by KDJ Inspired for talking about their products. The opinions that you're going to hear today are my own and I bought these products with my own money. I did however contact them to see if they'd be interested in supplying me with a discount code so you guys could make a bit of a saving off your first purchase and within an hour they got back to me and said that they'd set up a, a unique discount code of 10% which is not just an introductory offer it's one that you can use every time you purchase from them all year round just as long as you use my unique code which is Paul10 at the checkout. Uh, they also do a, a buy two and get a third one at half price offer. So if you use that as well as my code, uh, these are probably going to be the least expensive dupes that you'll uh, that you'll find. Yeah, so the first one that I'm going to talk about today is a copy of Angel's Share by Killian. This is one that I recently reviewed the original of uh, in my 365 project. So if you haven't already watched that review, uh, don't forget to also go and check that one out once you've watched this video. Um, this one starts out as a boozy woody fragrance with a, a light smokiness, which comes off smelling like an aged, like an oak whiskey barrel. But as it dries down, it develops into more of a, a delicious gourmand uh, dessert type aroma, similar to like a, a warm, sweet cherry pie like accord. Uh, the notes in this one are cognac, cinnamon, tonka bean, oak, praline, sandalwood and vanilla. So this one is the 10ml pocket spray in the Eau de Parfum concentration which is 22% fragrance oil uh, but you can also buy it in uh, loads of other different sizes and when you get up to the 50 and the 100ml bottle sizes there's also an extra concentration which is 50% fragrance oil so if you are willing to pay a few quid more and you're looking for the ultimate performance and blend quality uh, then these are probably the ones to go for. All the fragrances come in these round uh, type bottles, uh, that's the 30ml uh, and then there's your 50ml there, they come in like round bottles but when you get to the 30 and the 50ml you get these kind of like wood effect caps with the chrome top there which I think are really nice looking and another thing that I really like is the label, uh, the, it contains the name of the fragrance that it's meant to be a clone of so you don't have to faff about creating your own labels to stick on them. Everything's just really clean and well presented on them and I, I really like how these are presented but back to this fragrance and this one opens up very bright and boozy and unlike many other clone fragrances you don't get as much of an alcohol blast and straight away I can pick up on, the, on that angel shared DNA it's actually uh, the one clone of this particular fragrance that I've tested where you can pick up on the smokiness that's found in the um, in the original version and all the others seem to just go straight into that sweet dry down Comparing this one with the original side by side, they're almost identical to my nose. The dry down really pops and it seems to just get stronger the more it develops. The original is a touch more detectable on skin after about the 5 hour mark, uh, but this is a, a decent performer with an arm's length projection. I would guess that the, the extra version would outperform the, even the original though, uh, because even the original is not a, a beast mode fragrance. But overall, uh, this is very accurate, a very accurate interpretation to the original and it's got decent performance, so yep, a good start. 
Okay, next up we've got a, a copy of Hal Fetty by British Fragrance House uh, Penhaligons. And if you've ever walked near a Penhaligon store and wondered what the amazing smell was, it's Hal Fetty. And this is what they pump out into the street and into the aisles of the shopping centres uh, just to captivate passing shoppers. It's the brand's best seller and if you haven't tried it then you, this might just be the one for you because it smells uh, exactly the same as the original. The top notes in this one are cypress leaf, saffron, cardamom, artemisia, bergamot and grapefruit. In the heart of the fragrance we've got rose, nutmeg and jasmine. And the base notes in this one are agar wood, leather, cedar, sandalwood, amber, tonka bean, vanilla, and musk. Yeah, so this one, I would say, is a fairly complex smelling fragrance, uh, which for me changes every time I wear it. Sometimes it comes off smelling quite green and herbal, other times it may be more woody, and the time after that it may be uh, quite leather dominant. There's everything going on in this one, and it's a bit of a carnival of, a, of accords. And this dupe does a, a top-notch job at replicating the original. It starts out very bright and crisp um, with this, the cypress and the citruses, uh, but there's also quite a lot of spiciness from the saffron and the cardamom. And it's this spiciness that kind of remains the mainstay throughout the life of the scent. The heart of the fragrance is where it becomes more green and earthy and then everything just starts to sweeten up once the uh, the base notes come through including like the vanilla, the leather and the tonka bean. This one in my opinion leans more masculine than feminine and it smells very unique, it's very interesting uh, and it does smell quite expensive. But I've given this uh, EDP version a few full wearings now and it lasts all day with a strong projection so definitely one to uh, try out for yourself if you've not tried Hal Fetty. It's a very accurate copy and again uh, I'm quite impressed by this one. The third one that I'm going to talk about is one of the 50 milliliter X-ray versions. So these are the double concentration premium quality fragrances from KDJ inspired. And of course, if I'm going to spend extra cash on, uh, on a more premium fragrance, it's got to be one that I know that I already love. So what else could it be apart from uh, Killian's Black Phantom? And for regular viewers who watch the channel, if you're wondering why all these uh, fragrances, all the same fragrances, kind of keep popping up on these clone reviews, it's because I want to be able to not only compare them to the original, uh, but so I can also compare them with other clone houses like the Perfume Parlor or the Essence Vault. And these particular fragrances are what I'm kind of most familiar with. Uh, then once I, I realise how accurate they are and if they are accurate I can be more confident then in discovering new scents down the line just knowing that they are going to be accurate representations of what they're supposed to be. So this one is just awesome and even when I remove the lid and just just bam black phantom it's just there on, on the on the nib beautiful it's just absolutely stunning it's uh, like a sweet chocolate and coffee combo it just makes me sad that uh, we don't have winter all year round so i can just wear this one every day the notes in this are dark chocolate rum caramel coffee sugar cane almond sandalwood and heliotrope I've done side-by-side -side comparisons between the original and this X-ray version, both on skin and on tester strips, and I'd say that it's almost impossible to tell them apart in terms of scent DNA. Uh, but I'd also say that this is slightly better in terms of longevity, and it's kind of more detectable in the far dry down when they both like become a, a faint skin scent. You can still pick up on this a little bit more. You're going to get probably an extra hour out of it over the original and at less than five times the price of the original it's an absolute winner and so far the uh, the best clone of black phantom that i think i've ever tested okay next up is uh, a copy of carlisle uh, from parfums de marley uh, which again is a it's a 10 mil pocket spray and it's in an edp concentration this is one of my favourites from the whole Parfums de Marley lineup. It's a masculine and sexy sweet tobacco fragrance that's phenomenal uh, in the winter time. It's got a, a spiced apple opening uh, and a smooth, creamy and sedu uh, seductive dry down with the tobacco and the vanilla being the major players. It's one that I really enjoy uh, wearing during the festive season and just spraying it again today has just brought back some thoughts of uh, Christmas that has just gone. 
This KDJ copy does a great job at replicating the original and to anyone smelling this on you when you're out and about would never be able to tell the difference. But side by side there is a little bit of a difference and I think the original is slightly smoother and better blended. Don't get me wrong, this is a great copy, but the original is a bit spicier and everything just seems a little bit more amped up. Uh, maybe the X-Ray version might be a closer clone, uh, but this one for me has a bit more of a slightly synthetic smell to it. Still decent though, and uh, definitely worth checking out if you've never tried Carlisle before. Uh, and also a bit of a, a tip for you, um, if you're bothered about how your fragrances look in your collection, when you're spraying them uh, I would turn your nozzle around away from the, uh, from the label because as you can see I've uh, managed to uh, get a little bit of fragrance on here and the alcohol has made the, uh, the, the ink on the label all, all run so uh, a little bit of a mess and uh, a bit of a schoolboy error for me. Oops. Yeah, so the fifth one on the list is a Black Orchid Parfum, uh, which is in the 30 milliliter bottle size, uh, and it's also in the standard EDP concentration. The original one wasn't a, a love at first sniff for me, but over time I've really grown to love it. And now I can't think of the reason why uh, I wasn't that keen on it the first time I smelled it, because it's velvety smooth and just luxurious smelling with a really warm and comforting aroma. It's one of those fragrances that sits right on the edge of becoming a, a little bit feminine uh, due to the powdery floral aspect to it. But if you class yourself as a bit of a metrosexual bloke who's not scared of a bit of a challenge then this one could be right just up your street. Uh, the notes in this are truffle and plum. In the mid we've got ylang ylang, uh, black orchid and in the base there's patchouli. Again, this KDJ copy is extremely close to the original and right from the uh, initial spray you get the black orchid DNA with the sweet plum note up top and a touch of the earthy patchouli coming from the base. It's a really classy smelling scent with a more mature character uh, that would be best suited to the cooler seasons during the uh, spring and autumn time. And if you haven't already tried this one, this would be a, a great sample to get hold of. It's very accurate uh, and a great smelling scent. And bringing up the rear and the final one uh, from this haul is uh, a copy of Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb Extreme. The top note in this one is Caraway. Uh, in the mid we've got black pepper and lavender and the base notes in this one are vanilla and tobacco. This one isn't quite as spicy in the opening as the original which is not necessarily a bad thing because the original makes me sneeze nine times out of ten when I first spray it. Um, it's almost a little bit too potent so this was a bit of a welcome relief for it to be kind of dialed back of the touch. As it develops it becomes more and more like the original and after maybe the 15 or 20 minute mark you get a very close resemblance. However the original again does pop a, a little bit more off the skin and it just seems to be a little bit uh, stronger smelling throughout the heart of the scent. Again though this is the standard spray so maybe the extra will get you closer to the uh, performance of the original but in terms of likeness there's absolutely no mistaking what this is meant to be a clone of and if somebody walked past me wearing this I'd be like oh yeah he's wearing Spice Plum Extreme. It's only when you uh, critically analyse them side by side that you can tell the most small minute differences. Yeah, so in summary, I'm really impressed with this first haul from KDJ Inspired and I'm really looking forward to purchasing more from them in the near future and hopefully uh, unearthing some more hidden gems. I would personally go for the extra versions if you can stretch to the uh, extra few quid uh, because out of this first haul there's a, a bit of a noticeable difference in quality. I mean, look at the, uh, the colour of that juice, it's, it's just really good stuff. Uh, they've got hundreds of fragrances to choose from on their website and as I mentioned earlier it's so user friendly and intuitive with colour coded images with the notes listed alongside them and the way it's just categorised just makes it really easy to browse. 
The delivery time uh, wasn't the smoothest as two of these were out of stock uh, but instead of making me wait for them all uh, they sent out the ones that were in stock and included a note just to let me know that the other two were going to follow a couple of days later so it was it was a nice to, uh, nice touch to do that for me so uh, really good customer service there. And if you've got this far and you've decided to uh, give KDJ, uh, KDJ a try for yourself for the first three people who purchase any fragrances uh, using my unique discount code, I'll uh, I'll send out one of these 10 mil samples, complete with the uh, ink ink spill and uh, a few sprays missing. Uh, just email me a screenshot of your order and your ad address details to maguire 924 at yahoo.co.uk, and I'll send you one of these out uh, as a as a freebie. Uh, but this only applies to people living in the UK unfortunately so that's about it for today's episode but don't forget I'll be back with loads of uh, fragrances in the 365 project and all next week is going to be about great inexpensive fragrances which will allow my bank balance to recover a little bit and take a breather um, I've also got another one of my weekly hauls from the perfume palette to talk about so loads of good stuff coming up and as always if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and that way you won't miss any of my future uploads so once again thank you very much for tuning in to this latest episode stay safe keep smelling fresh and i'll see you very soon for another one bye bye for now